Here's this. Okay. Wow. Here goes mine. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that's really neat. Hey, look at this. I've got something really different. What kind of boat is that? Hey, it looks like a little wash tub. It is. It's three men in a tub. Uh. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, so turn them both names all three. Now I've got something I want to show you. What is it? This? this is a ship spell. Listen. Oh, wow. Wow. Right? Oh, oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, what have you got there, Jason? It's a ship spell, Barney. I brought it to school because we've been talking about boats. Oh, and I see you've been making boats, too. Uh-huh. We use things we found at home, like milk cartons and straws. Oh, you all did a very good job. Thanks, Barney. May I show you something I brought to school? Why, sure, Carlos. <laughs> we must have show and tell today. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Oh, it's a tiny boat in a bottle. How do you think it got in there? I don't know. My dad said he got it from an old sailor who sailed all over the world. Oh. Wouldn't it be neat to have a real sailboat and go anywhere we wanted? I think it would be fun to just go down a stream in a rowboat. Well, that yeah. would be fun. You know, you can make your own rowboat right here. We can? Sure, with a little imagination. <laughs> like we're ready to go. Hmm, I think we need something else. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> now we're ready. Let's start rowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's neat, but what's a gondolier? A gondolier is someone who takes people for rides in a boat called a gondola. I'll show you. <laughs> Gondolas travel through water canals like this one all around Venice. They're like water taxis. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. Oh, it is. And I see you've been having fun with boats, too. Yeah, we've been learning all about them. And we even made a pretend boat out on the playground. Oh, I wish I'd been here for that. You know, boats can take you on all kinds of adventures. How would you like to hear a story about some sailors who decided to look for a treasure? Yeah. And all of you can be in the story. Oh, that would be super deep, super. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Once upon a time, some sailors went to search for a treasure on an island far, far away. It was called Coco Island because it had lots of coconuts on it. Now, the first thing the sailors had to do was to choose the kind of boat they would take to the island. Now, what kind of boat would you choose? <coughs> oh, it's all about boats. Let's see. There's a kayak. A kayak won't work. It's just for one person. What about a canoe? No, that's not big enough for Barney. Oh, that would be a tight fit. A rowboat's not big enough either. 
What about a motorboat? That's bigger and it can hold a lot of people. But remember, the island is far away and the treasure might be very big. Then we better get a bigger boat. Okay, okay, okay. Now, that looks like a great boat to take on an adventure. It looks like the boat we made on the playground. I like that boat, too. It has big sails that can catch the wind and take you anywhere you want to go. Now, besides food and water, each of the sailors decided to take one special thing for the trip. Now, what special thing would you take? I take my camera. It's a special kind you can use in the water. Oh, very good. I take my compass. A compass tells you which direction you're going. North, south, east, or west. Well, that would be a good thing to bring along. <laughs> I take my binoculars so we can see things far away, like an island. Excellent. I'd take my boat in a bottle. <laughs> and what about you, Barney? Oh, I'd take all my good friends. <laughs> and I'd take my blankie. <laughs> Here, baby Bob. Hi, Stella. Oh, I love stories. Are you going to tell a story? Yes, Baby Bop. A very special story. And you're all going to be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, let's start again. Once upon a time, some sailors went to search for a treasure on Coco Island, which was far away. So they loaded up their boat, pulled up the anchor, and got ready to set sail. <laughs> Good shape. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Are you ready to sail to Coco Island to look for treasure? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Where's Stella, Barney? Oh, I think we'll be seeing her before long. It really feels like we're out on the ocean, Barney. Oh, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure, a sailing adventure. There's a great big world to explore. Let's go on an adventure, a sailing adventure, for fun, surprises, and more. We can make believe we're sailing on a sailing ship. Mm -hmm. Or pretend we're climbing a mountain. We can go anywhere. Let's, Let's take, take a trip. trip. to sail all day and all night. Oh! 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 May I drive the boat, please? Oh, sure, Baby Bob. Oh, goody. <laughs> I need to put down my blanket. Oh, okay. There. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm driving the boat. I'm driving the boat. <laughs> Which way do I go, Barney? Oh, well, I'd better check. <laughs> Kathy, may we use your compass, please? Sure. Thank you. Here's the map. I'll take a look here. Hey. Oh, yep. The needle is pointing right in the direction we need to go. <laughs> Just steer straight ahead, Baby Bop. Aye, aye. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a compass. <laughs> oh, did you know there's another way to tell which way you're going on the ocean? No. Oh, you can look at the stars. The stars? That's right. Sailors use the stars to tell where they are. See? There they are now. Oh, look at that really bright one. <laughs> so pretty. Look, Barney. I love the way they twinkle. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star.
Not yet, but I think we're getting close. Good. <laughs> hey, everybody. I think I see an island. Oh, wow. an island? Really? <laughs> really? My compass says we're headed in the right direction. Then I bet that's Coco Island. Coco <laughs> Island! <laughs> <laughs> we're almost Maybe so, Carlos. Oh, I guess the storm blew us here. It sure was windy. Yeah. I lost my boat in a bottle. It must have fallen overboard. I lost my compass. I lost my binoculars. I guess they went overboard, too. I lost my camera. And I lost my blanket. Oh, I know you're all sad that you lost your things, but maybe they'll wash up on the beach. At least we're here, and we're all okay. Yeah. This is Coco Island, right? Well, I think so. I lost the map in the storm, too. But it looks like an island. <laughs> very far away from the homes we know is a very sunny place where it's fun to go. You can't get here with the car or train, but when you look around, you'll be glad you came. I think she's over this way. We're coming, Baby Bob! We're coming! Hold on! Oh, hurry! Hurry, everybody! Look! A little house! You're right, Baby Bob! Do you think that someone lives here? It looks like it! Ah! Ah! Who goes there? Whoa! Who said that? Who goes there? That sounds like a parrot! I think it's in there. Let's take a look. Hey, be careful. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, pretty parrots. Hello. Oh, he talked to me. Oh, he sure is friendly. <laughs> What's your name? Baby Jones. What's your name? Baby Bob. <laughs> Baby Bob. Baby Bob. <laughs> Wonder why he was covered up. Not time! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we better let you get back to sleep. I wonder who's living here and how long they've been here. Maybe it's somebody really old. Yeah, it could be an old man. An old man with whiskers! <laughs> you mean like Michael Finnegan? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers on his chin again. They grew out and then grew in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan began again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was 
an old man named Michael Finnegan. He went fishing with the Grinnigan. Caught a fish and threw it in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan again again.
Did you come here to look for the treasure, Stella? Uh, fancy? Yes, I did. And I think I know how to find it. You do? I found this note here. And it says, pieces of an old boat will lead you to the treasure. Are you ready to look now? Let's get started. Right. Oh, hey, what is this? Ooh. It's a porthole. A porthole, a porthole! <laughs> What's a porthole? Oh, that's what you call a window on a boat. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to look through the porthole. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. I think I see some more boat stuff. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Yeah. It looks like a great big egg. That's right. X marks the spot. Oh. You mean the treasure's here? I bet it's right under that egg. Oh, let's take a look. them for you. I put them in the chest because I thought a treasure hunt might be fun. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. What about the real treasure? Did you find it? No, but that's okay. Because I, Fancy LaRue, the pirate, found something even better. Oh, oh, what's that? Fancy? New friends. <laughs> so, after they found the treasure, they sailed home and lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, yay, Stella. Very good. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I always enjoy spending time with my friends. But it's time that I was going. So, as they say in Italy, arrivederci. <laughs> arrivederci, Stella. So long. <laughs> Toodles. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think Fancy LaRue is right, Barney. Oh, about what, man? That friends are the best treasure you can find. Oh, That's I think I so, too. too. <laughs> Canoes or motorboats, and big boats with tall 
all sail like the one we sailed to Coco Island. Wasn't the island beautiful? <laughs> and we met a parrot that talked. We looked for a hidden treasure on the island, but the best part of the trip was sharing an adventure with friends. And remember, I love you.